Hey, numbskull. I'm ready for the next audience. <sighs> so what lucky faction leader are we talking to this time? Judicator Reinhold. A trade deal with the Morcons could really help the clerics out. How are you gonna get them to trust you? The clerics want to save humanity. The Morcons, not so much. Just get me in there. I know what I'm doing. We're done for now. Jax, I'll be leaving for Tavar soon, for a reconnaissance mission. And since you offered to help... What are we talking about? My men and I are going to investigate the region around the fort in Tavar. There's talk of the cleric sending mechanical spies to monitor our troops' movements. If that's true, I intend to smash them to pieces and send them right back to their masters. You don't need your bodyguards. I'll go with you. I'm sure we can manage. Fine. Tell me when you're ready and we'll leave immediately. Time to go on that scouting expedition to Tavar. We should hurry, before the cleric spies go into hiding. I need to find out what they've been doing before I neutralize them. There they are. Just as I thought. Those cleric fanatics sent machines to spy on us. Are you sure? I'm familiar with cleric technology, and these machines are acting kind of odd. Looks more like they're programmed for battle, not surveillance. We'll soon find out. You go first. I'll be right behind you. We will fight this battle together! Watch out! Looks like you were right. They've been programmed for battle. How dare the clerics launch such a brazen attack? I'm not so sure they have. The clerics have their own problems to deal with. But we can leave that discussion for later. Let's get rid of all the machines around the fort first. All right, if you say so. I just wish we had more time.
Watch out!
Watch out! what this place used to be. Ugh, I hate these things. They spoil the beautiful landscape we worked so hard on. We should really get around to tearing these things down. I'll get it!
These robots are pretty tough. I'd like to shove them right down the cleric's throats. Come on. We can do this. So somebody else took control of them? But why? What do you mean? Let's just finish off the rest of them. Then we'll talk. Okay. That was close, huh? Is this how your fights usually go? On Thursdays, yeah. And some other days, too. Wait, is this Thursday? Who are you? Call me Fox. No, wait. No, no, that's good. That's good. That'll work. I mean, who cares about real names anyway, right? I'm a berserker warrior. Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? 
Well, ask at the fort, and they'll say I'm barely a cultivator. You're bullshitting me. You, Nokaya. I was worried you'd say that. Hey, what do you know? She can talk. <clears throat> hmm. Excellent. I guess we better be careful then. What's your real name? You're just dying to know, aren't you? Oh, makes me way less likely to tell you. That bad, huh? It's... Oh, nice try, old man. Just call me Fox, like I said, okay? You spend a lot of time at the fort? More than I'd like. More than anybody there would like, too. What's the problem? You know what, I'm not sure. Something about my beautiful face seems to make my superiors break out in hives. Nope, I don't tend to last long with any of the paladins. Guess I'm just too damn wily for them. Every community has its values. You're talking about warrior's honor, right? The nobility of sacrifice, the sanctity of duty. Yeah, I never really got my head around that stuff, you know? You all alone out here? I was with a scouting troop doing sweeps around the fort, cleaning things up. But things went sour because, well, because that's what usually happens. The paladin was always riding me, moaning about everything I did. So I told him where to stick it, just trying to be honest, you know, start a dialogue. So he gives me punishment detail in the watchtower, which I do without complaining, thank you. But then I make one little mistake, confusing his boots with a latrine, and I get a week of construction work. Anyway, long story short, I work better on my own. Yeah, I noticed. Hey, sometimes it's just Thursday. What can you do? You do a lot of hunting around the Purple Towers? Oh, you mean where all those nice, friendly beasts come from? I stay out of their way. Helps with my whole not-getting-killed policy. I know, I know, berserkers are supposed to rid the land of those things, stop them from taking over. What can I say? I'm just too damn pretty to die young. You, though, you're neither young nor pretty. Bet you've met those cute little critters more than a few times, huh? I could use someone like you at my side. If only you had some discipline, kid. Ah, uh, teamwork just isn't my thing, you know? Some people like it. The last guy I joined up with fell into a canyon. Bam. Gone. Yep, haven't seen him since. Huh, unrelated. How are you with heights? Ugh. Ah, forget it. You've got this whole fighting thing down, right? Using weapons and all that junk? I think so. Well, great, then we're good to go. Oh, no, wait, we're not. Remember me saying I work alone? It was like 20 seconds ago. Besides, I haven't even seen you in action. That little scuffle back there completely does not count. A clown like you is going to question my fighting skills? Hmm, okay, okay. How about this for an idea? I don't know where you're from, but I'm just going to assume it's around here, same as me which basically makes us neighbors, right? Something like that, sure. So, how about we help each other out a little? It'll be like our very own little neighborhood watch. We can take a stroll through Tavar, see the sights, kill a couple beasties. We'll get to know each other, and we'll see how it goes. So, wanna go hunting? I wouldn't call it that. More like we're keeping the place spick and span. And if it means just a tiny bit of violence, well, that's just the way it goes. Okay, lead the way. I'll be right behind you. Okay, good. But I'm a fast and handsome son of a bitch, so keep up. I hate waiting. Know your way around here? I used to. You 
Things have changed since then. Careful! Yep. Right my way and all that. <laughs> So, where are you from? You know, originally? It's complicated. I was born a berserker, but I grew up with the Alps. Really? Huh. Wow. That's some switch. I had no idea those chocolate bastards recruited in pyro freaks like us. They don't, really. Like I said, it's complicated. Feel like taking a little break? <laughs> Forget I asked. I'm still okay, actually. Well, at least I know you can keep up. Not bad for an old guy. If you say so. But, how are you at long distances? Depends. How long are we talking? Like running all the way through Tavar? Think you can keep up? Or you think those old legs are gonna give out on you? Get moving and we'll find out. Cool. First one to break a sweat owes the other a back rub. How you doing, old man? You in pain yet? Only when you talk, kid. Good one. Cool. Gotta say, you're fitter than I thought. So why do you need someone watching your back? Ooh, you got a big heist plan? No, it's the invaders from the Purple Towers. We're gonna be in some deep shit with them pretty soon. I wanna be prepared. Oh, sure, well, if that's all it is.
You're not one of those crazy save the world types, are you? I'm just a realist. The danger to my life is real. Huh. Sounds reasonable. Well, maybe kind of crazy, but hey, you gotta be crazy to survive in this world, am I right? I got this! <laughs> so many people back then that some didn't just drive these metal boxes, but lived in them too? No idea. I read an old comic book that talked about people crowded together, shoulder to shoulder. I just can't remember the context. So it wouldn't surprise me if they had to live in little boxes like these. stop. This should be far enough. Okay, pal, cut the crap. Why'd you bring me here? What are you planning? Well, actually nothing, for once. Just wanted to see your moves. I mean, if we're gonna fight together, I need to know you're up to it. Nah, there's more to it than that. I can smell trouble on you. Trouble bad enough that you're running all over Tavar to get away from it. There's no keeping secrets from you, is there? Quit stalling. The truth now. So you really want to know, huh? Uh, fine. I, uh... Well, I should have been back at the fort ages ago. They sent me out to get some meat. You know, warriors do that sometimes, even though it's really a cultivator job, but... Anyway, I guess I kind of lost track of time, and I'm running a bit late. Just, you know, a smidgen. When were you supposed to deliver this meat? Let's see, they gave me two days? Okay, and how long ago was that? Well, I can't tell you to the exact minute, but around two months, give or take a couple days. I see. So they won't exactly be welcoming you back with open arms. Right? So you see my problem? Yeah, I show up for duty now, they just throw my ass in jail. Ugh, <sighs> bet you've never heard a sadder tale. I like it better out here, so whatever. Understandable. I'll say. How long do you plan on keeping this up? You'll we'll have to return to the fort eventually. Sure. Or not. Maybe I'll run into a nice warlord who can tell the boys at the fort I'm on a really important mission or something. Ooh, say, you don't happen to have a spare warlord on you, do you?
Maybe I should speak to Kaya. I was worried you'd say that. Hey, what do you know? She can talk. Nice! Don't get so excited. I'll just ask her for advice. In the meantime, you can check out the Bastion. The Bastion? Ugh, you mean that pile of crap in Caracas? That's the one. Lots of weirdos hang out there. They'll fit right in. Well, how can I say no when you put it like that? I think we both said enough. Took the words right out of my mouth. All right then, catch you later. And don't do anything I wouldn't do, you know? Get lost. Okay, okay, I'm going already. Very good. Do you know anything about a warrior called Fox? Let's just say I've heard a few things about him. I think he'd make a good recruit for a cause. At least when it comes to fighting skills. Not so sure about the rest of him. They say he's kind of wild. Not a man who'd be easy to control. That much is obvious. My advice would be to follow your instinct. Considering the rest of our allies, I doubt he would be our biggest risk. He's had a lot of trouble with his superiors in the fort. I can deal with that, but make it clear to him that it's only on the condition that he stays with us and fights by our side. Good. Thanks. No problem. Do you know Fox's real name? I don't know him that well, I'm afraid. Hmm.
Watch out!
think we got them all? Looks like it. Those damn clerics. I'm telling you, this wasn't their doing. Someone hacked their machines. And how can you be so sure of that? I took a closer look at those things, and it's just as I suspected. They've been hacked. It's clear the clerics aren't behind these attacks. All right, I'll leave it at that. I trust your judgment. Still, I hope this isn't going to become a regular thing in Tavar. Anyway, thank you for your help. You can always count on me. If anything like this happens again, just let me know. All right, I will. Are you okay? I'm well, thank you. 